Hey guys, how are you? This is your friend Alex. I'm going to show you how to unlock this AT&T Android phone, Galaxy A11. But first, I want to show you what happened when you put a SIM that is not from AT&T on this phone. And we're going to put a SIM from Mint Mobile. Yes. Okay, perfect. So we have it like this and we're going to put it here. Boom, right there. And look at this, guys. It says clearly network clock enter network unlock code your phone is not allowed to use this sim card and it says dismiss or unlock so if i click there i'm gonna be able to input the unlock code so how can we get this unlock code you're gonna do this here you're gonna click dismiss you're gonna open a browser you're gonna search for at&t unlock and here is the at&t unlock portal unlock your device and you're going to click submit and unlock request. Do you have a mobile number from AT&T? No. Now, where's the IMEI number? We're going to get it from here, right there. Let's see if we can copy it. So we were able to copy this, copy it to clipboard. We're going to go back. We're going to see if we can paste it. Yes, we were able to paste it. You can see that the website recognized the phone as a Samsung SM A11 5A. When I click here on I read the legal info and you're going to click on next. I'm going to put my name, mobile number, don't put anything, email address, I'm going to put my email, I need to put my email twice, su amigo Alex, it's the same, right? Now we have the button submit, so we're going to click submit, and it says thanks, we got your request. Now, let's open the email, and look at this guys, it says AT&T order status, you have 24 hours to confirm, so let's click there, and we can see confirm your device unlock. We're going to scroll down and look at this. Confirm your request. Click on that link. Nothing happens. So go back to the email and click again. Confirm your request. The second time it works. Thanks for confirming. Now we're going to go back to the email and we're going to click check the status. It's a system error again. Go back. Click on check the status. It says current status pending. We send an email to confirm your unlock request. We haven't received your confirmation yet, so we pause your unlock request. Look for the email from us and confirm using the link on the email. This is a lie because I just showed you that I clicked twice. So let's click again, just in case. Confirm your request, confirm. That confirmation link isn't valid anymore. Okay, so this is going crazy. Now we're gonna click on check the status. Look at this, guys. It says current status denied. Your unlock request was denied because your phone is not longer active on an AT&T account. Resubmit your request and select no to the are you an AT&T wireless customer question. Okay, status denied. No problem, I can do it again. Okay guys, so we finally got the approval from AT&T. You can see here the email, it took like several hours. I request this unlock on January 6, 3.59 p.m. and I got the approval the same day at 7.42. So it took like three, four hours. All right, so on the approval email, you're gonna get the unlock code, which is this, okay? So all you need to do is you need to insert a SIM card from a carrier that is not AT&T. I have a Mint Mobile SIM card. I'm gonna put it here, okay? Let's see what happens. And we can see here, network lock. Enter network unlock code. Your phone isn't allowed to use this SIM card, okay? So I have the code right here. It's gonna be 37075095815090973. And I'm gonna click unlock. Verifying network unlock code. Network unlock. That's it guys. But now this uh, Samsung Galaxy 811 from AT&T, now it's unlocked to use on any carrier. And just for testing purposes, this is a Mint Mobile seven day trial. Let's try it on this device, okay? All right, guys, so I just wanted to let you know that I activated that Mint Mobile so I can make a phone call. So you can see that this AT&T Samsung Galaxy 811 is actually unlocked. See here, Mint, and I'm gonna make a phone call here. Hello? Hello? Okay, so it's working, guys. It's working. The phone is unlocked with Min Mobile. You go to connections, mobile network. So I turn off international data roaming. I allow it 2G service. And you can see here network operators, Mint, and access point names. I selected T Mobile US LTE. That's it, guys.
I just wanted to show you that this phone is 100% unlocked. Thank you so much.